Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel. 34 times the Booster Club has been called upon and 34 times they've answered. Join the team today and help send the prophets around the world. 12 tribes worldwide. Shalom. I can't get enough for this word. Call me library. All you do is talk. I tell them read. I'll be your ball bearer. As long as my hands clean, I'm going to teach. I let the laws tear. You read your doctrine. Can't believe I even fell for it. No top models, no need for worries, cause God got us See masculinity need to be shown to real. And all of you that's cross-dressing would be dressed to be killed Apollo Creed, but I'm hitting like I'm Holyfield You count sheep, but you the high lean, the type to flee It's for the meat, when the battle won't, they gnash their teeth I can't believe I even fell for their hypocrisy Like it or not, it's Kwam Yasharala Laws attached to the brain, a dubla obligata we are not the same over here, we walk with giants yeah, Ten toes, toes down, down with the clairs mixed with iron I can't get enough for this word, call me library All you do is talk, I tell them read, I'll be your ball bearer As long as my hands clean, I'm a teach, I let the laws tear You read park your doctrine, can't believe I even fell for it Don't, don't walk away, brothers. Stay a little while. Y'all got some time, man. Y'all got some time to learn about the Bible. Y'all believe in God? I, I don't. You don't? Why you don't believe in God? Did you know that God was a black man? That's right. You know he was a black man, right? You knew that Joe was a black man? No? What about um, our forefather uh, Moses? Moses in the Bible was a black man. You understand? Why is that important? Because now you don't know that Moses was a black man. You don't understand that he was us. Right. You know what I'm saying? They portray him to be a white man. Right. They portray Christ to be a white man. But that's not so. Right. That's not according to the Bible. We're going to show you that. Because that's important. Because now you walk around and you think that the white man is Christ. And so inevitably, you have hatred against your brothers. Right. Because you want to be just like the white man. Why do you think our sisters, they walk around here with blonde hair in their heads? Right. You know what I'm saying? Our sisters, they, they bleach their skin to be more white right. because they want to be more like the white image of Christ right. even though the biblical description has Christ as a black man according to the Bible That's right. you understand and we're going to get you some of that uh, give me that in the uh, book of uh, Exodus chapter 2 I mean, um, with Moses. Just showing, we're going to go through and show the the, the the color of our forefathers straight out of, out of the Bible. Right. Read that. Right. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 4 and verse 6. Bring it out. And the Lord said, furthermore, unto him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. So the Lord is speaking to Moses. He says, put your hand in your bosom, meaning in your shirt, right? And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. So when he removed his hand out of his shirt, his hand was white. Leprous. Leprosy is, is uh, the light pigment, the pigment removed from your skin. If he was a so-called white man, how would that be a miracle? Right. How would that be a miracle at all? Moses was a black man. You know what I'm saying? When he took his hand out, it was white. Like, what the? What's going on here? Right. You know what I'm saying? Now read on. And he said, put thine hand into thine bosom again. Uh -huh. and, he, and he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. So it was now turned as his other flesh. What was his other flesh? Give me that in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. Because his other flesh was brown. How you doing, young sister? What's your name? Michaela? Give us uh, five minutes of your time. You waiting on the bus? Just stand over here and then listen and learn the Bible. All right, we're bringing out, your brothers are bringing this prophecy out. Read that. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2, in verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So what color is the dust of the ground? 
Brown, right? So if God formed man from the dust of the ground, guess what color that was, that first man was? He was brown, or what we call ourselves today, black, African American, all right? Even our brother, what, what's your nationality, my brother? Hispanic? Hispanic? Yeah. All praises. You know that you also are a part of uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? right. But through uh, colonization and things like that, some of your, uh, some of us mix with the white people and got a little bit of a lighter skin, but you go through the same trials and tribulations that we face as black people, right? Right. So what we're here to show you is more of those things that uh, our, our forefathers who were black. All right? Give me the book of Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. We're going to stay on this track. We're going to show our people that the, the forefathers in this Bible, they were black men. All right? They were not white men. Solomon, one of the, 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 the most wisest men that ever walked the face of the earth, he was a black man. Read that. This is the book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Read it out. I am black. I am what? I am black. I am black. That's right. That's what the uh, that's what Solomon said. This is the songs of Solomon. Read that from the top. Verse five. I am black, but comely. Solomon says, I am black, but comely. Comely means beautiful. Who walks around today saying I'm black but beautiful? You know what I'm saying? That's our nationality coming out of this Bible. Nobody else walks around and says those things. You know what I'm saying? Solomon is letting you know that he was a black man according to the Bible. Give me that in Jeremiah chapter 14. Give me that in Jeremiah chapter 14 to let you know it's not only we just proved um, uh, what you call it was Moses. Um, Moses was black. Uh, Solomon was black. We're gonna show you our forefathers uh, of Judah, of the so of the Jews. They were black as well. Read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, in verse 2. Read it out. Judah mourned, and the gates thereof languished. They are black. They are what? They are black. Judah mourneth. Judah, the short uh, phrase for Judah is Jew. Right. The Jews were black. That's right. The Jews were black. Give me that. Uh, let me see my forefather uh, Job real quick. Let me see my forefather Job. We all know about the story of Job, right? He lost everything. The most, the most high allowed the devil to come on him and try him. He lost everything. He was so faithful to God that he was able to regain it all plus more. Right? That's right. Let's find out what our forefather Job looked like according to the Bible. Read that. This is the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. Bring it out. My skin. My what? My skin. His skin. You know? His skin. Listen to that. Since you're listening as well, his skin. Read. My skin is black. Is what? Is black. Read it from the uh, top. My skin is black upon me. And my bones are burned with heat. Our forefather Job just told you, straight up, my skin is black upon me. That's right. His skin is black. He wasn't a white man. Right. He wasn't a white man at all. Give me Jeremiah 8:21. Bring it up. We're gonna go back to our forefather Jeremiah. And what are we reading? The Holy Bible. That's the King James Holy Bible. Your pastors have never taught you this, have they? Have they ever brought this understanding out to you in church? No, not in church at all. You go and ask them about it, they're going to say, oh, that was the condition that they were in. But, no. They, if you oppress, you're not turning black. You know what I'm saying? It's actually talking about the skin. The skin color. All right? Read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, in verse 21. Bring it out. For the hurt of the daughter of my people. For the hurt of the daughter of my people. My people. Yes. God had a chosen people. The Israelites, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. Yes. So for the hurt of my people, read, am I hurt? Uh-huh. I am black. I am what? black says the bible that's right that's jeremiah our forefather let's get lamentations let's jump on in there let's get lamentations
to continue to prove that the so-called uh, Jewish man is a lie. He's not. Jew he's not a Jewish. He's not the Jews of the Bible. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Israelites according to the Bible. All right, give me that. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 8. Read it out. Their visage is blacker than coal. So their appearance is blacker than coal. That word visage is talking about their appearance. They're blacker than coal. That's right. You pick up coal, what color is coal? It is black. Right. It is black. Our people are black. This Bible was written for our people. All right. Give me, um, give me that um, Acts. Um, is that 27 or 21? I'm sorry. With uh, with our forefather Paul. You got that? This is the book of Acts, chapter 21, in verse 38. Read it Art thou that Egyptian? Verse 37, and, and as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain. So we're going to pause for a second. He says, art thou that Egyptian? So the ancient Egyptians, they were black, were they not? They were black. But the British, the British destroyed the pyramid. Right, right. They destroyed the real, the real statue. Right, and they, they put another people over there. Right, but the true Egyptians were black. So even in the New Testament, they asked asking Paul, aren't thou that Egyptian? Right. Meaning we looked in color to the Egyptians who were black. So Paul was a black man. That's right. Read on. He said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee, who said, Canst thou speak Greek? Uh -huh. Art thou that Egyptian, which before these days made us an uproar and led us out into the wilderness four thousand men right. that, were mur that were murmurers? But Paul said, I am a man, which am a Jew. Oh, we can't go by that. He just asked him, hey, Paul, are you an Egyptian? Because he looked like an Egyptian. His skin color was, was black, right? And Paul said, no, I am a Jew. I am a Jew. There's no spiritual Jews. The, that, they, the uh, white people who call themselves Jewish, they're even telling on themselves by that name. If I said the time now is, is two-ish, Right? right? That's not really two o'clock. Right. Right? It can be sometime before or after. It's not that exact. So by them saying they're Jewish, meaning they took the customs of our people. They took these laws and tried to apply them, but they can't get them right. You understand? They can't do this Bible because this Bible wasn't given to them. This Bible was only given to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And why do I say that? Because that's what the Bible says. That, uh, finish that, start at the top of verse 38 again. This is Paul speaking, ref uh, replying back to the person who says, Aren't thou the Egyptian? Read. 38. Art thou not, art, art not thou that Egyptian, which before these days made us in uproar and led us out into the wilderness for a thousand men that were murmurers. But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarsus, a, ci a city in C Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city. And I beseech thee, suffer me to speak unto the people. Right. So Paul was letting you know that he's a Jew. He's a black man according to the Bible. Yes, now let's get the, the, the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because you believe in Christ, right? In your churches, which of these two images they portray to be Christ? They put him as a white guy. And a lot of times you hear interviews of pastors speaking and they say, there's no depiction of Christ in the Bible. We don't know what he looks like. That's a lie, That's according right. to the Bible. Your pastors are lying to you. Right. All right, because we're going to go in this Bible and we're going to show you clearly what the image of Christ looked like. Give me that uh, story at Revelations 1, verse 1. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1, in verse 1. Bring it the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must, 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 must shortly come to pass. So this is a revelation of Jesus Christ, meaning a revealing of Jesus Christ, all right? And Christ told John to write these things down so they can be delivered to my servants. Right. So they can see, they can know who I am, what I look like. 
But again, your pastor never told you about this scripture. Let's jump over to verse 14. You know verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Hey, how you doing, my brother? What's your name? Tim. Tim? All right, all praises, Tim. What we going over is the image of Christ, brother. We here to show you yeah, who Christ looks like. So you already know. Yeah. All right, all praises. So you got a flyer from us. Get in contact with us. But stick around. You got five more minutes. We're going to dig in. We're going to answer some more of your questions. All right? All right. So, uh, what's your name, brother? Mike? Ray. Ray? Ray. Frank Sinatra. Ray, Ray, Ray. Frank. Frank. My bad, Frank. Frank Sinatra. My bad, man. Frank. All right, so Frank, again, we're revealing the color of Christ. Because the pastors say that nobody knows what he looks like. But in the book of Revelations, it clearly uh, calls that out. Verse 14. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs, meaning the hair on his head, were white in color, woolly in texture. All right? That's just like my brother Tim right here. His brother's got woolly hair. All right? On his face, beards curl up. The image that they portray right here in the churches is a, a Christ with long straight hair. But an OG brother always has a white, white, right, like right, a wolf, like a wolf. Absolutely, he goes gray, right? So that white is talking about the color of his hair. All right, read on. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet. Wait, his eyes were as a flame of fire, meaning the whites of his eyes were as a flame of fire, as it is prophesied in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. All right, the whites of his eyes are as a flame of fire because he drank wine in moderation. He didn't have blue eyes, you understand? His, his eyes were, were red in color, as a flame of fire. Read on. And his feet like undefined brass, as if they burn in a furnace. And his feet like undefined brass. Are not your feet the same complexion as your arms, your face? Maybe a little bit darker, maybe a little bit lighter, right? So it's saying Christ's feet was in color as fine brass. What color is brass? It's not white. It's not white at all. It's brown. It's brown. And it says as if... They burn in the furnace. So you put anything in the furnace, it's gonna get is it gonna get lighter or darker? It's gonna get darker. It's gonna turn black, you're right. You burn some rice on the uh, on the stove, it's gonna turn black. Right? So he was he was a dark skinned man. So that image that they portray in the movies in your churches is absolutely false. You understand? We finish that uh, scripture out. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Meaning Christ spoke loud with authority. He's not no soft man. You understand? When they portray Christ in movies, they portray him as a soft spoken man. No. Christ commanded thousands. How can you command thousands and you got a soft voice. Right. That ain't gonna work. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.